Let's do an example of how to assign binary and hex values um, to variables. So for instance, let's say we have a variable that we want to assign its value by specifying it either hex or binary. You can assign a, a value to it. And that might come in useful in a number of different situations. Say you want to have you want to manually control uh, which bits are set in a number without knowing what the number is and saving you some calculations or you want to create bit masks. Sometimes it's easier to do bit masks in either binary or hex format. So let's get right into it. Uh, the first variable that I'll create is a variable to store uh, our number represented in binary. So if you want to assign it in binary, you just give it a 0B and that tells us we're going to use binary base. And I'll use 8 bits for these examples and I'll just use all ones uh, since it's easy to do those calculations. So if we wanted to have a binary number that was 8 bits and all ones, you would specify again 0B and then give it 8 ones. And that should give us a value of 255 all ones. And similar to that, if we want to do a hex number, if you want to assign a hex number, uh, the equivalent of this binary number would be hex FF. So again, that's 255. And if you want to print these values out, we'll just print them out in decimal format so that we can illustrate what it's actually doing. Again, use our printf with our uh, number form specifier. And we'll do the same thing for the hex number. Okay, and finally, uh, for the last part of this example, I'll just take a, a decimal number and print it out in hex. If you ever want to print the hex value of a number, you can use the, uh, similar to how we assign the value, we'll use the percent %x for the format specifier. We'll do the number 7. So you would do percent %x, and then you can, you can either use a variable or you can hard code the, the number there, and I'll just hard code the number as 7. And I'll save this and I'll save it as base.c since we're dealing with different number bases and I'll go to the terminal window compile it name our executable base and execute it and you can see that when we assigned the numbers with binary the value is 255 when we assigned it with hex the number is 255 and the number 7 in hex is 7. So that's not a good example since 7 in hex is 7. Let's just real quickly um, change that. Let's do 10. And that should give us A. And let's go back and recompile it. And there you go. So typically you'll want to change it to 0 by 0x. Um, and as a final Example, you can do the similar things with characters. Say you have, uh, you know, when you print out a character value, it's basically just changing that value in memory to a character. So what we can do is we can come in here and do a man on the ASCII table. And you can see that what this does, that ASCII table will give you hex, decimal, and octal values for each character. So say we wanted to print out the character B. We could create a character value if we want to use hex to specify our character we could say okay the number B in hex is 0 is 42 so we could assign our character C 42 and we, if we wanted to print that character out that should print um, B. So let's go back to our terminal window, compile it, and let's run it. And here you can see we just used hex to assign to integers and characters and print out values in different bases. So hopefully you find this useful.